<laughs> what is up everybody <laughs> welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are having a fantastic day today we're going to talk about five ways that you can get your karma points up i know that's right when you do good you get good okay that's just the circle of life i know that's a very simplistic way of talking about karma but we're going to get into it but first man subscribe if you like the vibe that's all i'm going to say about that okay let's get into the video so the first way that you can get your karma points up is by having pure intentions okay when you have pure intentions when you do things that are good or nice just simply because because you want to do it from the purity of your heart okay there's no way that you can't get your karma points up okay there's no way that you're not putting out good into the world okay when you like let's say you give somebody a compliment okay are you giving somebody a compliment because you want to look nice you want that person to like you or are you giving them a compliment because you truly genuinely mean it and you thought that it would make them happy to hear it right so when you do things from the purest intentions okay you cannot go wrong okay you just can't do it it's, it's just impossible to do that okay so really when you do things ask yourself why am I doing this okay is it from pure intentions because if so karma points getting racked up <laughs> Okay, the second way to uh, get your karma points up is to simply be honest, okay? For a lot of people, that's easier said than done, okay? A lot of times, especially in the world that we live in, where everybody... I shouldn't say everybody, but you know, it's really easy to, you know, hurt people's feelings. We're living in a very triggering time where, you know, a lot of people are traumatized. It is what it is. Okay. I, I'm pretty sure every single person is traumatized in some way or another. And it's really easy to, you know, when something's tender, it's easy to hurt. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of times we don't want to be honest or, you know, maybe somebody who doesn't have pure intentions, maybe they're um, being dishonest for certain reasons, right? They're deceiving to get or they're deceiving to um, plot and plan and sneak, okay? So um, the fact of the matter is that when you are being an honest human being, there's no way that, uh, that you're not getting your karma points up, okay? When people lie and deceive you, but you're an honest person, they know exactly what they're doing, okay? They know exactly what they're doing. So whether it's conscious or unconscious, okay? But the fact of the matter, in that type of situation, your karma points are gonna go up and a couple of their po karma points are gonna be taken away, okay? Because the fact of the matter is that being honest is a pure way to get your karma points up, okay? Honesty is the best policy. That's, what, that's a rule that I live by, okay? Man, and sometimes the truth hurts. But it's better to be honest and it's better to speak truth than um, anything else, okay? So the next way to get your karma points up is to be generous, okay? Now, if you're not naturally a generous person, that's fine. Don't do anything that's not genuine to you, okay? And again, especially when it comes to having intention, only be generous if you have that pure intent, okay? Don't give somebody a gift because because you have a lot of money and you want to flaunt and flash, okay? No, give somebody a gift because you truly think that they're going to enjoy having that item. You think that that item is going to actually bring them joy or whatever the case may be. Um, but if you are, you know, and it doesn't even have to be a gift. It could just be anything. You can be generous with your words. You can be generous with your emotions. You can be generous with your time. You can be generous with you know, plenty of things. <laughs> so um, by being generous, by giving just simply for the sake of giving, just because it feels good to give to other people, that is a surefire way to get your karma points up, okay? As a matter of fact, in the world that we live in, when you give, you are surely to receive, okay? And it, it may not be in that same interaction, and that's fine. We're not, we don't give just to receive, okay? It, it doesn't really work like that, okay? But when you give, when the most high sees you giving, just for the sake of giving, just because you like to give, and you're just being generous from the good place of your heart, the most high will reciprocate in some way or another eventually, okay? And that's what, that's basically the essential, uh, reason of why we're getting our karma points up okay when you do good you get good that's just the simple fact of the matter okay what goes around comes around i know that's right um the next way to get your karma points up okay is to have or show respect okay um again this can be a lot this can be easier said than done especially when life puts you in certain situations okay and it doesn't you know i like to think of everything being a test okay every single moment is a test okay you could just be walking in the park and see a little piece of trash on the floor and a lot of people, they're not going to pick that up because it's not their garbage, right? But somebody who has respect for the earth, somebody has, who has respect for their surroundings, somebody who has respect for the animals who maybe will eat that trash is going to pick up that piece of trash, okay? And you never know what angels are watching you or watching down on you when you decide not to pick up that trash, okay? Or whatever the situation is. Okay, respect can even go so much deeper, okay? Having respect for all walks of life, all types of people, okay? There's, there's people who look different than you, who think different than you, who act different than you, who come from different places places than you who have different things than you whatever the situation is um, it's so 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 important to have respect for all types of people okay all types of living beings that can be trees that can be animals literally whatever it is 
okay? Um, being and having uh, respect is, is, is highly underrated, I would say. Somebody who walks around and embodies respect and just gives out respect freely, um, and that doesn't mean that you're going around kissing people's booties, okay? That's not what I'm talking about. <laughs> um, you know, but simply, you know, just agreeing to disagree, knowing when to keep your mouth shut, knowing when, um, you know, to, knowing when and how to exit out of certain sticky situations in the most respectful way manner, that is going to earn you big karma points, okay? And that one might take some practice. That one might take some practice, but it will be worth it, okay? Because them karma points gonna get racked up the more that you practice that, okay? Um, and last, but not least, as a matter of fact, I would argue that this is the most important way to get your karma points up, okay? And again, we, we shouldn't be doing these things just to get our karma, like just to get karma, okay? That kind of goes against the whole point of this video, right? Because um, again, we wanna have pure intentions, okay? So that was, that was the first one, right? Was to have pure intentions, so if you're already doing these things, I guess this is just confirmation that you got a lot of karma stored up in the bank, okay? Your bank, your safe is locked full of golden bars of karma, <laughs> okay? Um, so, but the most important way to uh, get your karma points up or to receive good karma, okay, is simply to surrender. Yes, surrender to the most high, the highest power of love and light. Okay, you don't have to call. You don't have to call it that, you know, whatever your belief system is. Um, again, we have respect for all belief systems, all ways of thinking, all ways of being, all ways of honoring, okay, source consciousness. So uh, whatever, you know, name or title that you want to give it, okay, I simply just say, you know, the most high, the highest power of love and light. But regardless of the name, when you surrender, to the highest power of love and light, whatever name you wanna give it, okay? That is the surefire way to not only get your karma points up, but to basically lock your karma points in and to make sure that they ain't going nowhere, okay? Um, because when you surrender to the most high, when you allow yourself um, to live and to embody love and light everywhere you go, Okay, everywhere you go, you're bringing that love and light and you're giving it out freely with your pure intentions. You're speaking it by being honest. Everything that you do surrounds the uh, concept of love and light because you have surrendered your life to be uh, basically a worker of the most high, a worker, um, an embodier of love and light. Okay, there is no way you cannot get good karma. Okay, it is the way that it is. Okay, so, and you know what? Whatever you've done in your past, it doesn't matter, okay? Once you surrender to the Most High, once you decide to embody that love and light, you, and you continuously practice that, and, you, and it's, it's not just a one-time thing. It's not a one-time surrender, okay? When you start to practice and wake up every single day, like, yes, today, Monday, surrendering to the Most High, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, it's still Friday, and we're still surrendered to the Most High. We're still walking around, being honest, giving with pure intention, being generous, speaking truth, okay? Embodying that love and light, and bringing it with us, and sharing it with us everywhere that we go. Once you do that, and that becomes a part of your daily practice, Man, ain't no way you're not gonna get good karma. It is what it is, I'm trying to tell you, okay? So the surefire way, man, I'm trying to tell you is surrender. And you know what, that can be hard. That can be a very big challenge. We are living in a time and a, a dimension where it is easier, it is actually easier to sometimes be of the dark. It is easier to be um, dishonest. It is easier to be selfish. It is easier to be disrespectful. It is easier to, um, to try to manipulate and not have the purest of intentions, okay? Um, it is much, much easier in a lot of ways to do that, okay? Sometimes it can be hard, it can be a challenge to um, to embody love and light, especially depending on whatever situation uh, the Most High has put you in or, or that you have found yourself in, okay? But I pinky promise you, man, I pinky promise you, it is worth it every step of the way, even when it is hard. Even when it is hard, I promise you, the effort that you put in to surrendering and to embodying that love and light and taking your orders from the divine, from source consciousness, from the most high, and you walk around spreading that love and light, it is gonna be so, so, so worth it. Because like I said, at that point, you might as well have hit the jackpot of karma points, okay? It's gonna be like the casino, ding, 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 ding. <laughs> Everywhere you walk, you're gonna see seven, 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 literally like you just hit the jackpot, okay? I'm telling you, okay? So there you have it, just as a recap, man, being honest, having pure intentions, being generous, showing respect, and of course, surrendering to the most high, the highest power of love and light, regardless of whatever name you decide to give it or call it. Those are the five ways that you can get your karma points up, that you can receive good karma. When you do good, you get good. It is what it is, okay? That is just the cycle of life. I hope you enjoyed this video thoroughly. I hope this inspired you to, you know, maybe make some changes in your life. And you know what, if, if you're already doing all these things, man, high five to you, bang! You doing it, I see you over there.
there doing good. So you know what else that means I'm gonna see? That means I'm gonna see you get some good too. I know that's right, all right? Man, much love to you guys. I love you so much. Thank you once again. If you wanna show your girl some reciprocal love, go ahead and hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you like the vibe, okay? And uh, I'll see you next time. Peace, love ya, bye.